Good day, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to our video. Today, we're going to discuss another topic in pre-calculus. And that topic is the dilatus, dilatus rectum, dilatus rectum of a parabola. Dilatus rectum of a parabola. Previously, in the last few videos, we have discussed the notion of of what a parabola is and its standard forms. And in the previous video, we have discussed the all of the standard forms of the parabola. And for now, we will be discussing another part of the parabola, which is essential to its part, which is the latus rectum. Naalala nyo, previously, we have defined that the latus rectum is a chord in a parabola. For example, this is the parabola. This is a chord. This is a chord in a parabola that passes through the focus. Di ba? Yan yung latus rectum na tinatawag. Ngayon. Now, let's define a property that is essential to the parabola. And this is summarized in a theorem. Ngayon. Theorem. The length of the latus rectum of a parabola is the absolute value of 4P. 4P. So, ibig sabihin, it is a theorem. Ano ibig sabihin kapag theorem? You are required to present a proof. Ngayon. Now, let's get started. How do we suppose to prove this? Ngayon. Let's start off with the word proof. Kasi ganun tayo pag nagpo-prove eh. Proof. Consider, consider the case. Kasi maraming cases eh, kapag yung parabola mo is either opening to the right, to the left, upward, or downward. Ngayon, we'll choose the case where the parabola where the parabola opens opens to the right we'll be choosing the case where the parabola is opening to the right kasi wala namang magbabago kung piliin ni nasa right kasi nasa left siya or nasa upward or downwards it doesn't matter ang purpose na pagpili natin so that makakapagdrawing tayo now let's draw ganito Let's draw the, the, the parabola na sinasabi. Let's say this is the parabola. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Ngayon. Di ba sabi, ang parabola natin na pinag-uusapan lang is centered at the, or has a vertex in the origin. So, yan yun. Yan yung una. Ngayon. Let's draw the parabola. Uh, let's say we have this one. And let's say we have this one. And that's a pretty good illustration if you ask me. <laughs> Kahit papano, di ba? Ngayon. And let's have the directrix. Di ba ang directrix nasa labas siya? And let's have ito. This is the directrix. And ngayon, dinodrawing lang muna natin yung mga proponents ng parabola. This is the vertex V. Um, let's say this is the point, I don't know, this is P comma 0 kasi lagi naman ganun, di ba? Hindi ibig sabihin, itong point na to is negative P, 0. Tama ba? And I, itong directrix, so equation ng line niya, kasi dumadaan siya sa X at negative P. Kasi di ba this is the negative P coordinate? May mga bata sa background. This is 6 PM, guys. Makin yung mga bata pa. Di ba negative P yan? So this is equal to negative P. Or the line is X plus P is equal to 0. Tama ba? So na nabubuo na natin yung proponents nung nung ano ng parabola na given natin. Ngayon, let's go back to the proof. Maroon tayo. Ngayon, since since the since the opening since the opening is to the right to the right, anong given natin? Then Ano yun? Consider, hindi, mali din, the standard form, then the standard form of the parabola, of the parabola with vertex at 0, 0 is y squared is equal to 4ax. Tama ba? Since the opening is to the right, then the standard form of the parabola with vertex at the origin is y squared is equal to 4ax. Ito ay y squared 
is equal to 4ax. Tama ba? Yan equations ng equation ng parabola mo. Ngayon, in order order to determine to determine ano to the the length. Kasi ano bang goal natin? Maghanap ng isang latus rectum. The length of the of the latus of the latus rectum. First, we have to determine nasan dyan yung latus rectum sa ano natin, illustration. Ngayon. Di ba ito yung focus mo? Ito yung focus. E di ibig sabihin, itong points na ito are the potential latus rectums. Gawin natin ito yung color orange. Itong cord na to that passes through the focus is a latus rectum. Pangalanan natin siyang ito is point, I don't know, L. Ito, R. Bakit L and R yung points na yan? Kasi latus rectum, yun yung purpose, di ba? Ngayon, 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 ngayon. Kailangan natin malaman yung length ng orange na yan. Di ba? Yun yung goal. In order to determine the length of the latus rectum, we first, we first have to determine, determine the points of intersection points of intersection ngayon ang tanong 'di ba may ano 'di ba itong latus rect itong directrix natin palitan natin yung kulay ito ah itong directrix natin this is this has an equation x is equal to negative p ibig sabihin pwede ka makakuha ng line pag inextend mo pag inextend mo to na may equation na x is equal to positive p Tama ba? Itong green na to, tapos itong loob na to, orange, isa siya yung latus rectum, isa yung line. Isa siyang line, di ba? Ang equation niya, x is equal to p. Bakit? Kasi dumadaan siya sa x. x na p. Tama. Ganun naman yun eh. Kapag, kapag, ano ka, kapag vertical line ka, equation mo, x is equal to p. Kung saan siya dumaan. In this case, at the coordinate p. So, ibig sabihin, para malaman mo kung ano tong points na to, Ano mga points ang tinutukoy ko? Itong yellow, itong naka, ito na kinulayan ko na yellow na ganyan. Para malaman mo yung points of intersection nun, kailangan mo malaman yung points of intersection ng, susulat natin, points of intersection of the parabola, of the parabola, yung kulay pula, of the parabola, y squared is equal to 4, px, Bakit pa palaging A yung nagagawa ko? Di ba ito A? P to ha guys? P? Palagi ko nagagawa yung A. P. Di ba? Of the parabola 4px and the vertical line vertical line um, x is equal to P. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo makita yung intersection ng Yung red, sa katong green tapos orange. Ito, ito, isang linya lang yan kung tutuusin. ba? Kailangan mo malaman yung points of intersection. Sino ba kasi yung points of intersection? Ito. Para malaman mo yung pinaka points na yan. Kasi may purpose kung bakit natin kailangan yun malaman. Ngayon, how do we supposed to do that? Ito ay y squared is equal to 4ax. Tapos, ano a? Ang kulit. <laughs> Malagi yung ano ba? Ito ay... Y squared is equal to 4px and x is equal to p. What do what can we do with the given equations? Ano pa natin gawin? Substitute. Diba? Substitute. Substitute x is equal to p into y squared is equal to 4px. Ano mangyayari? This implies that this is y squared is equal to 4p multiplied by p. Tama ba? 4p multiplied by p. Kasi di ba yung x pinalita mo ng p? And this implies that y squared is equal to 4p squared. Extract the square root of both sides. Di ba? Kukunin mo yung square root of both sides. Paano yan? y squared is equal to square root of 4p squared. Ano mangyayari? This, this implies that this is y is equal to plus or minus. Ganun palagi kapag nag-extract ka ng square root, ha? 2p. Bakit 2p? Kasi di ba? Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of P is P. So, may dalawang cases. 
Therefore, there are two points points of intersection. Ano yun? Yung, di ba, x is equal, x is p and y dalawang cases. Yung p, 2p and p, negative 2p. Di ba? Nakikita mo? Kasi plus or minus, ito yung positive 2p, yung, yung minus 2p, ito. Tapos yung x mo kasi p, kaya p and p. Nakukuha nyo? So, ibig sabihin, if we zoom in a little bit, ito palang point na to, this is 2p. Itong katapat na to, this is negative 2p. Kaya itong isang point, this is p, 2p. Ito naman ay p, negative 2p. Okay? Ay, hita nyo kung ano yung significance ng ano. Kasi napangalan na natin yung point. E napapansin nyo, this is two points. Para malaman tong orange, what, what can we apply? The distance formula. And then, kung ano yung resulta ng distance formula, yun yung length ng orange na to or the lattice rectum. And we have finished the proof. Nakikita nyo na yung significance kung bakit. Kasi kanina nung una, hindi natin alam ano pangalan ng points na yan. Kaya we cannot do anything. Kaya ngayon, paano natin isusulat yung nalaman natin na yun? Ganito, ituloy natin ha. Ngayon. Therefore, L is P, 2P and R is P, negative 2P. Tama ba? Tama yan. Ngayon. Notice that notice that segment LR ito yon segment LR kasi L, di ba? L tapos si R. Segment LR is the is the latus rectum is the latus rectum of the parabola of the parabola siya yung latus rectum ng parabola to find to find the length to find the length apply apply the distance the distance formula. Apply the distance formula. E paano natin magagawa yun? Diba may, may dalawa ka? L, P, 2P. Tapos R, P, comma, negative 2P. Distance formula. Paano sinasulat yan? L, R is equal to square root of X2 minus X1. Yung pangalawa minus yung una. P minus P squared. Plus y2 minus y1 yung pangalawa pangalawa minus yung una minus 2p quantity squared di ba magiging is just equal to is just equal to pangalawa minus yung una so magiging square root of negative di ba p minus p is 0 so yan sulat ko 0 squared plus negative 2p squared. Diba? And then negative 4. Negative 4p squared. Eh, diba magiging ano yan? Abs um, is equal to square root of negative 4p squared. Eh, diba naalala nyo, kapag may something, recall natin, recall, kapag square root ng x squared is equal to absolute value of x Tama, absolute value of x yan. Di ba naalala nyo yung orientation or nung ano? Kasi, ang square root of x squared is equal to x. Totoo lang yan kapag x is greater than or equal to 0. Tama. So, ano gagawin natin? Therefore, the length of the latus rectum is equal to the absolute value of di ba? Absolute value of negative 4 P or absolute value of 4P. Pareho lang yan. Kasi di ba absolute value, ikakalabasan yan is 4P. Ang kakalabasan nito 4P. Kaya equal lang sila. So therefore, again, 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 the latus rectum, the length of the latus rectum ng parabola mo is absolute value of 4P. And to, in, to indicate na tapos na yung proof, gagamit ka nito. 
Ayan. And this is the proof of the theorem. Nakikita nyo? Nakikita nyo? Yung, yung theorem nasa taas, this is the illustration, and we have summarized it in this manner. Ayun. Napapansin nyo may dalawang parang absolute value symbol. So remark, this is not a part of the proof. Not part of the proof. This is not part of the proof, pero gusto ko lang i-remark. The absolute value, absolute value symbol, symbol in itong LR pertains, pertains to the pertains to the length length of the segment the segment LR. Ibig sabihin, distance yan ng segment LR or the points L and R while the ones in 4P is the ordinary ordinary absolute value absolute value in real numbers Ang gusto ko lang sabihin dito yung absolute value ng LR na to pertains to distance between L and R etong absolute value ng 4P this is the absolute value of a number kasi ito pwede to maging absolute value of 8 absolute value of 16 etc diba yun lang naman ang gusto sabihin nitong ano na to remark na to and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you learned something today. I hope that you have appreciated the notion and the proof of the length of the lattice rectum of a parabola. <clears throat> always remember, the lattice rectum is a chord that passes through the focus and its length is always the absolute value of 4P. And who is P? Yung coordinate ng focus. And in, in the next video, we will be discussing the important um, numbers or lengths that is found in a parabola before we head to the examples of how do we graph parabolas and also 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 i want you to remember that we are only talking about a parabola that has a vertex on the origin is is, is it possible that your parabola has a different vertex that is not the origin that is a pretty good question you all and until then mathematicians keep safe and have a great day goodbye now